You believe in continuance and mundaneness, deep inside the fragility of your breath. The catch in your throat is like a matching and a mistake. You feel these things. You can envelop the push from the world in an, at an invisible closing, in the scent that begins to line between your palm and your chin. It is that scent that makes plain the sun talking to your inquisition. Every day, every cycle, tedious instigations and fear in the same harm it feels. A piercing revolving within the crack of your limits. Your lips remain stationary and lead in those moments, like a pungent bellflower curling down to taste the chemical and arduousness, touching color to the softness of your cavities. It reflects the gentle shape of a breast sitting on your mouth, talking about honey and distant spices that waft unbound from your, the tips of your fingers. In front of you, or there in front of you, an inconspicuousness telling you the momentum of your plasticity, how to believe beyond your motives, frothing on the chapped pink stalls of your fingers. You hike away from that. You take at a glance some days a humid and moistening head of moss appearing at the top of a stone, the warm strengthening of ease. You sit below, finding a compare between the edge of rock and the shade and the time lost to presence. It isn't like demanding, it isn't like bleeding. It is like whispering a charm to the wind, signifying and returning back to the busted mag magnificence you sense is tampering and quitting without pride or defeat. It is like swallowing and sitting down for the charge of exchange, um, like dirt from your nails to your teeth, washing back with saliva to the totality and edges of the Rome in your mouth's vows. All right, thanks. <laughs>